Episode number 10 of the House of the Dragon finally represents the moment when we will see the beginning of the Dance of the Dragons. The greatest conflict in the history of the Targaryen family. The entire first season has prepared us for this moment, but perhaps we are not ready for what is about to happen. In the past few hours, the trailer for the next episode has been released, and with it, incredible scenes have been revealed. So in this video we will be analyzing the preview of the 10th episode of the House of the Dragon. The Beginning of the Dance of the Dragons. If you want to know everything related to the universe of Game of Thrones, the House of the Dragon, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this review, if you want to participate in our Funka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, the same book from which the House of the Dragon was adapted, you just have to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed on November 20th. The most awaited moment by all, has finally arrived. The usurpation of the Hightowers has been completed, and it is time for Rhaenyra Targaryen's side to take their black and gold cloaks, and face a common enemy. Igon II. In the previews for the final episode of this season of the House of the Dragon, incredible things have been revealed. This preview begins with Maelys, Rhaenys' dragon arriving at Dragonstone. After Rhaenys interrupted Igon's coronation, she apparently left for Rhaenyra's location. In the previous episode, we saw how Rhaenys did not accept Alicent's deal, and seeing history repeating itself, she decided to escape on her dragon, and thus not allow the Greens to use it to their advantage. King's Landing really isn't that far from Dragonstone, so the news will come quickly. We can see Rhaenys in her armor, warning Rhaenyra that the Greens are coming for her. This is a reference to the color the Hightowers wear when they are at war. A color used by Alicent since he entered into a personal conflict with Rhaenyra. The green side is the side of Queen Alicent Hightower, and the black side is the side of Rhaenyra Targaryen. Then, Rhaenys proceeds to warn her that they are also coming for her children. We can see that Daemon is holding the sword in his hands, but Rhaenyra is pregnant and it's not a good time for this kind of news. In the next scene Daemon is taking his sword again, and tells Rhaenyra that she cannot bow her knees to the Hightowers they will not accept the conditions of the Greens. We cut to a scene of Eamon removing his eye patch, Perhaps, revealing what he has behind that eye patch to someone. We move on to a scene of what became known in history as the Black Council, where Princess Rhaenyra's allies plan how to retake the throne. We see how she suggests attacking the Red Keep, but perhaps this is a hasty move. First, Rhaenyra needs to find allies in all parts of Westeros. As we know, many of the noble families swore to support Rhaenyra's reign, but many of these have turned their backs on her, and now support Igon's reign. We move on to a scene where Rhaenyra's sons tell her to send them. This scene reminds me of when Rhaenyra told her father, the king, to send her with other dragon riders to Stepstones. As we see in this preview, Rhaenyra apparently accepts the proposal and sends her son Luke, wherever he has asked her to go. Perhaps they wish to go to war on behalf of their mother or to get allies. Of course, these are very difficult times for Rhaenyra's children, and an enemy might be keeping an eye on them. We move on to a scene in which we see, possibly Lucerys Valerion, in front of a dragon that it is not clear who it is but it is being ridden by someone else. Perhaps, this scene is a confrontation between both sides. Let's remember that both the green and black color have dragons by their side. We move on to a scene in which Rhaenyra is being crowned as queen. The crown that is being brought to her is the one that Viserys had on her body. It has been stolen and taken to Rhaenyra. We move on to Lucerys. We see that he is flying on his dragon Arax, and apparently he was sent to do a mission on behalf of Rhaenyra, far away from Dragonstone, in the middle of a storm. 
The next scene is one in which Rhaenyra is worried, and she is observing Damon. Apparently, something bad has happened. We move on to a scene in which Damon is in front of a dragon that appears to be Carax's. This means that he is taking his best weapon for the war. He's getting ready to dance. I think the next scene is exciting for those who love the House of the Dragon. Because is one in which we see multiple dragons coming out of Dragonstone, and one of them is throwing fire into the air. Then we move on to a scene in which Damon again confronts Otto Hightower and the Royal Guard, in the entrance of Dragonstone. It is surprising how Otto, after conspiring against the kingdom, dares to reach Damon. This puts him at risk of losing his life, for this is no longer the same Damon who tried to play with King Viserys. Now Damon sees the Hightower as his enemies, and must defend the lives of his relatives. We move on to a scene in which we see Vagar's mouth trying to eat something. And if Vagar is present in this preview, it means that Eamon might also be around. This preview is being quite careful not to reveal too many things of this next episode, and in the same way I ask my book reader friends not to use the knowledge granted by the Mushroom Lord to reveal what will happen in the next episode, because things could be different. Let's remember that many events in the books, in the end, were changed. But I think this next episode will end in an exciting and sad way. The House of the Dragon has quickly become one of the most supported stories in television history, and we will certainly miss it every Sunday. However, everything we've seen so far has only been a prequel to the war that's coming. Below I will leave you with an excerpt from the book Fire and Blood, which makes a great opening to this chapter as we enter the series. It reads as follows. The Dance of the Dragons is the flowery name given to the bitter internecine struggle for the Iron Throne of Westeros, waged between two rival branches of House Targaryen, between the years 129 and 131, after the conquest. That the grim, turbulent and bloody events of this period were defined as a dance, leaves us perplexed by the grotesque inaccuracy. Undoubtedly, the phrase originated with some troubadour. The death of dragons, would be a name much more in keeping with reality. But tell me, what do you think about all this? What do you expect to happen in this final episode? Are you ready for everything that will happen? And for more videos of theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, the Three-Eyed Raven.